GarageBand allows you to use sustain on your keyboard instruments too, add a little extra flavor to your tracks. But did you know you can also edit the sustain and even add sustain after you've recorded? Well, that's what we're gonna show you in this video. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. Welcome back to another GarageBand 5-Minute Tip. If you'd like to learn a heap more about creating, recording, and releasing your best music in GarageBand, check the other videos linked in the description. To use sustain here in GarageBand, first let's add a keyboard track. We'll hit the plus button, scroll across to keyboard, and tap on our keyboard instrument. Now for this demo, I'm going to use the electric piano, but you can change up the instrument by tapping in the middle there and choosing the piano or a whirly or a bunch of other instruments that all have this sustain option. To add sustain while playing in a part, you need to actually tap and hold on this button, or if you slide it across, you'll permanently add sustain. Let's show you how to use this in both of these ways. We'll hit record and play in a part. So you would have seen there that the first chord I played, I didn't have sustain held down and the second one I did. Let's go into edit mode and show you how it looks. We'll tap on the track view at the top, tap on this green MIDI part, tap again and hit edit. Now, as well as the notes I played here, you'll notice that we also have this at the bottom, sustain. And what we can actually do is adjust this. So if we wanted to say this sustain to go all the way across the first section, we can just grab the front here and move it and then grab the end and extend it. So you can actually adjust the sustain after you've played so that now we're gonna get sustain across the whole track. which doesn't really sound like what we were going for. So let's edit that back by just grabbing and dragging the end and then moving this here. You can also copy and paste. So for instance, if we tap this one, we can actually delete it out of there. But if we go, actually, I do want that on that first one, we can tap it and then hit the copy button, position our playhead exactly where we'd like it, tap on the sustain track again, tap again, and hit paste. And we can move and adjust the sustain using this method. Let's hit done now and go back to our track. You might've noticed that here's one I prepared earlier. This is one that I played in, but I forgot to tap the sustain button. And sometimes it can be really hard to hit the sustain button while you're actually playing it apart using the touch screen. You can also add sustain using an external MIDI keyboard and a sustain pedal. And I've got links to where you can pick up a keyboard and a pedal in my gear guide, which is linked in the description. But let's assume you're using the keyboard and you're trying to play in these chords. You don't want sustain on the whole time, so you don't want to lock it in. So you leave it off when you record. Well, all is not lost because we can actually add sustain after the fact. Let's show you that now. What we need to do is tap on the mixer icon up the top here, go to track settings, and then go to recording. Now by default, this merge recordings will be off. If we turn this on, what it allows us to do is play in other keys and it will actually merge what we play with the original part that we've played in. The other cool thing is we can add things like sustain after the fact as well. So if we hit recording now, it will play the part that we've already recorded and we can tell it where to add sustain. Let's do that now. And now if we go to our track view in the top left, tap, tap again, and hit edit. Check it out. It hasn't affected any of the notes. They're all still in place, but it's added the sustain in the parts where I actually tapped. And you can use this for drums to layer up sounds, as well as for things like wah on your electric guitars. There's other videos about how to use merge recordings linked in the description. And once again, once you've added any sustain to your project, the sustain track will pop up. If it's not there, you just need to do the merge recordings and add it somewhere, and then you can add and move it around to your heart's content. You can also turn on your drawing option here and tap in and draw in additional sustain points if you want to add some more. So there you have it, sustain here in GarageBand, a really cool way to add some flavor to your tracks. And now you know everything that you can do to use it most effectively. If you'd like to learn more about creating, recording and releasing in GarageBand, more videos in the description. I'll see you next time.